A very good afternoon, Team Zimbabwe. Masquera say, Masquera say, Masquera say. Welcome to Africa in Beyond Television Network. And my name is Ronald We Kwama Kusha. So today we want to talk about uh, important issues regarding the Vice Presidency of the Republic of Zimbabwe, who is going to be appointed VP in the nation of Zimbabwe. Remember, Emerson Nangagwa was sworn in on the 4th. The MPs are being sworn in today. Councillors were sworn in yesterday. And we expect uh, President Emerson Dambuzum Nangagwa now to appoint the vice president as well as the cabinet minister. So the question is, who is going to be the vice, the next vice president? We know that Constantin Chwenga uh, will be the vice president from ZANU. And um, the question is, from the ZAPO, who is going to be the next vice president? That is the question we need to answer right away and see who is probably going to be the next vice president of the Republic of Zimbabwe. So, uh, Kembo Mohadi has been vice president. Uh, after the... Um, after the coup. And um, after the 2018, but um, it was really from the sign then, but to the election, Ananga was campaigning from another angle. Mohadi from another Enko Mnangagwa from another Kembo Mohadi as the vice president Oro. They are actually going to replace him by Obet Mpofu. So this is a very important uh, uh, question asked the Eskans. Obet Mpofu, next vice president. This is a question being asked here. Is it possible that Obet Mpofu could be the next vice president of the Republic of Zimbabwe? And we need to take a look on the possibilities. Remember that is an UPF is a combination of ZANU PF and PF ZAPO, and um, they merged in 1987 and uh, they formed a national a, a government of national unity after uh, a, a, the crash of multi party democracy in the nation of Zimbabwe by the Mugabe regime. So, what happened next is that um, they were subsequent, uh, they were appointing uh, Z uh, vice president one from ZANU the other from Zab, uh, PF Zapo. And um, that is the norm up to this day, according to their agreement. So right now, Kembo Mohadi represents the PF Zapo faction. Wailist Chiwenga represents the ZANU PF faction. So Kembo Mohadi uh, is difficult for, for him to be removed because I don't see any comrade from uh, PF Zapo who is um, uh, within the ranks and files of ZANU-PF at this moment in time, which means uh, Mohadi is likely going to be vice president, is going to be appointed vice president once again and work together with um, Constantino Chiwenga. That is my view at this juncture, at this moment in time. That is my own observation and that is my view. But we need to get uh, to, to, to know, Kuti, what are other people actually uh, saying regarding this issue. Shkanzi Mohadi will be brought back. Mpofu is un unpopular with the Zam Zapo Kedas. Uh, Mpofu was never a Zapo Keda. Mpofu uh, was a Zanu PF all along. And um, uh, Mpofu cannot be, ca cannot be part of the vice presidents if they are to follow the unity accord as it is. So, I believe uh, that is Roshganzi. That would be amazing content and beautiful stuff for the media. Okay, Roshganzi. Kembo Mohadi again, he never left anyway. So Kembo Mohadi never left, and it's true. Kembo Mohadi remained in the office of the of the of the vice president. Um, he, he, he remained. He, he was simply getting the same benefits. He was uh, seen at various functions. Uh, of the state he was seen uh, as the second secretary of ZANU PF up to today. And um, I, I believe that he still holds that powerful position 
in, in the ZANU PF party. So can say if he was clever, he would put a woman, uh, young like the crew of Barbara Rodzi. But anyway, ZANU doesn't care about all that. It's not about votes with them, but pleasing the junta. So I expect Sibanda or whatever his name is. So is um, PV Sibanda going to, to be retired so as to join the the, 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 the presidium? I do not know, Tim Zimbabwe, if that is going to, uh, to to be a move to be made anytime soon. What will be the fate of um, of 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 Kembo Mohadi if P. Visbanda is retired and joins the government at this juncture? So I, I myself, I, I personally believe that P. Visbanda feels more safe within the uh, army ranks and files than within the government itself as the vice president that is my view i don't know what way swamadinga chete okay <laughs> skanzi has been sponsoring using his own loot like hell now it is time to reward the nigger okay um obet mpof if he is a appointed vice president honestly he will be uh, that will be in violation of the agreement which was made the, the, the 1987 unit, unit accord which suggested that one vice president to come here so we do not know with the extinction of the comrades who went to war how they are going to to to, to actually consider uh, uh, continue with this agreement are they going to to to, to simply uh redraft their agreement and agree that anybody from matabele uh, can can actually take over because the question is how many are still zapu com uh, pf zapu comrades within the ranks and five of, of, of zanu pf we know there are several comrades from pf zapu who are still there in matebe land but are they influential enough for them to actually come and grab uh, this very important seat it's um a, 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 an issue for another day. So myself, I see after Kempo Mohad, I see Valerius Banda also, that is Rose Prince, because I see Valerius Banda and I agree after Kempo Mohad, I believe that in terms of seniority, uh, Valerius Banda could fit in, but is it the right time to retire Valerius Banda? I don't believe it is. Because Mpofu is not a ZAPO member he joined the ZANU before unit accord, and they don't regard him as ZAPO because of that. Okay, so that's Obed Mpofu is not from ZAPO. He is originally from ZANU. The unit accord demands that the VP roles be held by one from ZANU and the other from ZAPO. Mpofu does not qualify since he was never ZAPO. Okay, and the, you uh, you get title deeds of about three quarters of the country. Okay, so that's, I can't imagine the day they will leave him as acting president. Okay. <laughs> Let's go Takata. As you picked that um up on your last newspaper vending round. Okay. <laughs> That's the uh, okay. That's the corruption goes because they, they should remove Mangujiga and Jim Tuling Mube. Look into the private sectors in other countries. There's a lot of qualified personnel out there who are abroad. Offer them good contracts. It's easy to fix this mess. Just that these comrades are not trying hard enough. Okay. And this is another issue being raised here. Uh, so, Tim Zimbabwe, I don't know. What do you think? Who is tipped to be the next vice president from the Zapo, uh, from Tim Zapo after Kembo Mohadi? Is Kembo Mohadi going to retain his um, vice presidency or he is going to be replaced? So, in the comment section, please let us have this discussion. What do you really think? And in the next episode, we are going to talk about the potential ministers so swearing in of mps is being done right away we need to take a look on the potential ministers uh who are going to be appointed to the cabinet by president emerson Minangako.